I have been developing for uh, .NET using C Sharp for over eight years now. Started in grade 12. Uh, started with console apps, then UWP, and then Xamarin Forms uh, to build uh, cross-platform mobile apps. And now with the recent announcement of .NET Maui, which is a multi-platform app UI, um, a library to help you uh, create um, apps for uh, iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows. Um, I saw that uh, Xamarin.UI tests was the original sort of uh, way to write UI tests for Xamarin Forms app, but it hasn't been ported over yet for .NET MAUI. So today I'm going to show you how to use Appium to write UI automation tests. Let's get started. So Appium is a tool that we can use to do UI automation in various platforms. Uh, I've only worked with it in .NET MAUI, but uh, they do mention that it works on browsers. So in this video, however, we're going to be fo focusing only on .NET MAUI. Um, and uh, in a later video, we can take a look at how we can do uh, tests for web as well. And also because of the fact that uh, Xamarin UI tests hasn't been ported over to .NET MAUI, this is a good time to try out Appium for your apps if and see if uh, that's a good alternative. So um, I found this blog uh, when I originally was looking at uh, various libraries that, uh, that I could use to do these kind of tests. So this blog gave me an idea of uh, how you would write a test for your applications. Uh, but I have a very specific sets of uh, tests that I want to write and see if uh, it works well. So um, the project that I'm going to be um, using this on is currently it's private, but uh, basically it has uh, a set of controls that you can uh, use in your .NET MAUI applications. So this list of controls is going to grow. And the idea is to have a storybook sort of application that uses these controls and renders them. And then I can write uh, UI tests to see if these uh, components have changed. So I have the uh, project cloned here. Um, and then what I've done is I have the .NET uh, MAUI controls in a different project, which is ss.maui.controls. And then I'm referencing this in a proper MAUI app where what I'm doing is rendering out the same rating input. And what it looks like is this. Just give that a second to run. So how the uh, component looks is you have these stars and then you can click to uh, give a rating for any sort of uh, feedback in your app. So this is the reusable control, this uh, rating part, and I'm just rendering it in one uh, shell content. So that's the app. What I want to write a test for is uh, when I open this specific uh, page in the app, uh, obviously, I'm going to add routing later so I can take screenshot of each control separately um, and more importantly, each story within each control. But for now, I'm just going to focus on writing the basic test and see how that works. So yeah, I'm going to stop this and what I can do is add um, a test project. I'm going to create a new folder called tests. And obviously you could use any sort of testing library that you prefer, but I use XUnit for most of my tests. So I'm going to just add the same thing. So let's see, I've not done this on Windows yet, so I hope it just works. Yeah, so this is it. Yeah, C sharp XUnit test. And here I think I'm supposed to pass tests again. And then I'm going to call it ss dot dot storybook tests. Cool. Cool. So the first thing obviously is to do a sanity test, which is which I do like this. So I create sanity tests, and also a good uh, time to install a few packages actually. So. One thing that I use is called Fluent Assertions. Oh, sorry, I was looking at installed. So Fluent Assertions, yeah, this one. And don't need mock right now, so it should be good. I'm not even sure if uh, we'll need to use Fluent Assertions, to be honest. 
so yeah one plus one should be two and to run this i think it was unit test right uh, test run i've completely forgotten how to do this in yeah run all tests right control r a okay i'm gonna slap that here or maybe here yeah and uh, just wait for that to finish up probably this is the first one that's why it's taking so long and actually until that's happening i just take a look at the code uh really glad that this blog was there it made most of the setup pretty simple so what we're doing is we have a test uh class this is uh likely yeah this is an un unit but we're using x in it so a few things will be different but that's fine we have uh, a setup which is configuring the appium options uh the appium server running on localhost 4723 and also what it's doing is activating the right app to run your tests on ideally you will get this from like a environment variable but yeah that's fine for now then what you want to do is just write all of your tests in test blocks and towards the end you tear down by quitting the driver that's it there are more things that you can do one of them being uh, adding automation ids to the things that you want to fire events on and then uh, you'll use that in the test to do things like just yeah click a button or input some text all of that can be done uh, we're going to be focusing on the screenshots bit for now so let's go back cool so that passed so one thing you'll notice is uh, it requires another package called appium web driver so we'll install that yeah this one internally we'll be using selenium open qa package i think so let that finish and uh, to run appium um, you can install it via the instructions given here uh, this uh, tells you to install appium through uh, npm which i'm fine with but uh, uh, if you want to run it on your uh, ci you would have to take a look at what is supported uh, what emulators and simulators are available on your ci uh, build agent so for running uh, running it on local uh, installing it through npm is fine so i'm just going to follow these instructions and get it set up uh, to interact with uh, the um, android simulator the we use the ui automated to driver so installing that is the it's done after you set up appium using the appium's driver subcommand so i've done both of those and it's ready so again it tells you just to confirm that uh, your platform name and automation name are these okay so i have to change a couple of things to get this working oh, one of them is the appium colon prefix in the automation name second being the um, app that i want to launch i had to pass that as an additional capability even though you're activating the app here plus uh what else uh had to change the device name that's it so now i've also given the entire path where i want to store the um screenshot but ideally you'll just get this prefix from another environment variable so now if i run it you, you see that the test has already passed but I'll, I'll run it again and in the background uh, the way appium is running is with uh, just the appium command and i've also added my android home as an environment variable this is powershell that's why i've written it in this syntax just check your uh, whatever shell you're using pass it in that format so test has passed and we can go to that's folder and this is it one thing you'll notice is uh, this this worked this time around but i also found that there are issues when um, the launch screen uh, takes a while so what ends up happening is uh, 
the screenshot turns out to be the uh, screenshot of the launch screen instead uh, the splash screen so to fix this one thing you could do is because you know that uh, your rating input is going to be rendered you can wait for that element to be present and then use um, a screenshot you'll, you'll see all of this in the um, Appium's uh, documentation so I'll, I'll let you discover and see what sort of uh, tests you want to write with this there are ways to do this in web projects which is much simpler without even Appium uh, you can use uh, there's a just image uh, snapshot uh, plugin that you can use to do image diffing and it'll show you pixel based diff of uh, two screenshots so all of those things are possible but this is to give you an idea of how you can use Appium specifically to test uh, .NET Mavi apps um, until Xamarin UI test is ported over and has all the full functionality that you uh, were originally familiar with Hope you enjoyed this video uh, like this video and comment if you have any other suggestions as to what sort of tests you would like to write and i'll try to cover it in future videos uh, see you soon